Welcome back. Okay, uh, this is Jafardi, Motet Game Machine, uh, with no one. This is me. Uh, uh, no, no, this is not the one I wanted. I wanted this one here. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. Okay. Alright, welcome. This is Jafardi, the Motet Game Machine. Uh, with no one, I'm, I'm by myself playing Oblivion and finally continuing. Actually, not continuing. Um, the old game I was playing, I was getting tired of losing losing my data. I was losing my save games, I was losing my recordings, I was losing everything. So I decided to start over again. I started with an archer and I caught up to where I was on the main quest line. Um, I haven't... Uh, I, I didn't do as much as I did with the original character, but... Oh, God, I had to, I had to change that back. Um, so, what we're doing now is I, wanna, I wanted to go into the skooma den what what I want to do before I do the main quest line is I want to I'm kind of playing an archer but more of a uh, stealth type character so what I wanted to do was get my stealth up all the way and how do you do that in, in oblivion well you do it this way so how are you? you get okay. what's going on uh, with you better I run you go in the skooma den, What's the and you wait until they all go to sleep. And I'm gonna wait right here. Well, you wait till they all go to sleep. Um, so, no, don't do that. Wait, there we go. Uh, what time is it? It is 9 o'clock? Yeah, they go to bed pretty late. They're all huffing paint, or whatever. The oblivion version of huffing paint. <laughs> or uh, smoking crack, or whatever. So now they're all uh, delightfully asleep. So now I uh, whip out my bow. And I murder one of them in their sleep. Ugh. Nobody notices. Sneak attack. Nobody sees me. Wow, look at that. How do they not notice me? <laughs> oh, well, she is dead, so I guess I will take her bed. <laughs> oh, it is so awesome. All right, so anyway, I don't have to kill anybody else. Uh, but I can take her skooma, which is which sells for good money. So I'll do that. And then I can just leave. And uh, as you can see... I have no bounty. Uh, where is it? No bounty. So this is the, like one of the few places you can actually go and actually murder someone legally. So, oh, you know what? You know what I'm going to do, actually? So this is step two. Not only do you have to murder someone, um, you gotta, you got to go to bed. And then... Ta-da! rather sound for a murderer. Up. That's good. You'll need a clear conscience for what I'm about to propose. Oh, you? Yeah, really? Hmm. Gasp, who are you? Explain yourself now. Say nothing. Uh, who are you? I am Lucian Lachance, a speaker for the Dark Brotherhood in you. You are a killer. Sweet. Taker of life, a harvester of souls. Yes, yes, yes. Your work, your death craft. Oh, I like that game. This the Night Mother. <laughs> and so, I come to you with an offering. Okay, an what are you going to give me? opportunity oh. to join our rather unique So you're not going to give me anything family. tangible then. Okay. That's fine. Uh, please continue. Ah, I find your etiquette refreshing. Yes, yes, yes. Now please, listen carefully. On the green road to the north of Breville lies the Inn of Ill Omen. Okay. There you will find a man named Rufio. Rufio. Kill him. And your initiation into the Dark Brotherhood will be complete. Great. Do okay. Yeah, great. I'll do that. He'll die by my hand. Uh, great. Goodbye. Okay, go away. And then he turns invisible your and walks away. Clear. Eventually. Send Rufio to his death and the yes, Dark yes. Brotherhood. Good hunting. And he gives me the blade of woe. As family. And so we have to go kill Rufio. So where is that? Knife in the Dark map. There it is. Inn of, in of Ill Omen. So, I'm just gonna go to the stables, get my hat, and get my get my hat, get my horse. Another H word. Yes, there is that mine. Okay, good. Yep, just making sure it was raining. It's no longer raining, and it's freaking clear as hell right now. That's awesome. I just love how the weather just clears up like that. It's like I don't know, like a lot of places I've been. Florida. Yeah. It's full of frogs anyway, you can hear it. Okay. So we travel up this road. Now what we gotta do is we gotta kill Rufio to get into the Dark Brotherhood. But I'm really, really concerned 
with killing Rufio and doing all the Dark Brotherhood quests and all that stuff. I just I really want the benefit of getting my stealth all the way up and maximizing it up to 100. That will help the future quests be a lot easier. So this is how we do it. We travel over here and we go to the Innovil Omen. And we go down into the basement. Oh, hello! Hi! Oh, you're an archer too! Me too! Uh, did you hit my horse? Oh, oh, look at that! Nailed her. She hit me too. <laughs> Not as good as you thought you were, are you? Hmm, I'll take your arrows, thank you. I appreciate that very much. Sorry if you can hear my phone in the background. I can't control that. Alright, so we ride my horse, which unfortunately can never have a name. I wonder if there's a mod out there for that. I bet you there is. Post in the comments. Alright, so we're, keep, we're still going. Ooh, there's a cave over there, I thought. Is there a cave? Is that a cave? I think it's a cave. Yep, you can see it on the minimap, right there. Robert's Glen Cave. I think there's a quest there at some point. Most caves have quests and then junk. Too bad I can't shoot you from horseback. You guys are safe right now. All right, go kill a deer, don't... God dang it. Stupid wolves. Don't want to know when they have a good thing, you know? They got a deer right there. It's ripe for the taking. No, no, I'm going to attack the person on horseback. Okay. Oh, we got a oblivion gate up there. So yeah, I got, I got the, I did the main quest line uh, up to the point to where we have just gotten the uh, the fourth book, and uh, we're about to figure out where we have to figure out where the meeting place is for the. Uh, oh gosh, I am drawing a blank now. Mankar Cameron, and uh, that where he's going to be because he supposedly has the amulet of kings. All right. In, of, in is coming up. There it is. In of ill omen. Hi. Oh, he's practicing. Who's that guy? I don't recall that. Imperial Legion Forester. Okay. General. Nameless character. Good for him. Okay, so here we are in the in of ill omen. We gotta go down here. And we gotta immediately sneak. And we go into this far room here. There's no one else down here but us and Rufio. Hi, Rufio. And he pays us no attention. We can talk to him if we want, but there's really nothing else we can do with him. And he just sleeps all the time. That's He, he gets up and walks around for like a couple hours, but then he'll go right back to sleep. So you just got to do is wait. And he'll go climb into bed and he'll go to sleep. He can't even see us right now anyway. So what I do is I just go to this corner and auto walk, which, uh, what is the, what is it? Uh, I don't even know what the uh, key is for it right now. I thought it was, I thought it was caps lock, but it wasn't working. So let's see what the controls are. Controls, uh, auto walk, auto walk, auto walk, auto move, Q. Q? Weird. I don't know where that came from, but okay, I guess it's Q. Okay, so... Oh, that's weird looking. It just doesn't look right. What, what's the key? I can't... I can't remember what the key is for uh, looking at myself either. Do I, I just scroll back, don't I? I think so. Oh, no. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get up. Go. Yep. Okay, so basically what we're doing right now is we are sneaking. And, uh... And it counts sneaking behind this guy. And as you can see, your sneak skill increases. So, uh, oh, and I turn off auto run. That's why it looked funny. Okay. So yeah, right now, so we are sneaking behind Rufio, and his counts as sneaking. And even when he gets up and walks around, he doesn't walk around for very long. So, you know, within an hour or so, he goes back to bed. So I'm gonna leave it here and uh, and and get it up to uh, get it up to maximize it. Um, when you do this. Um, your sneak, every 25, it will give you a pop-up screen saying that you've gotten to the next, the next uh, level of agility or sneak. So you know you get another added benefit to it. So you gotta, you know, gotta watch it every now and then. It's not gonna go automatically go up to 100 if you leave it for three hours. It's gonna stop probably after I don't know. Well, we're, we're within three, so 
it'll uh it'll get up to 50 and then it'll uh it'll give you a little message so i'm gonna leave this and i'm not gonna sit here and let you <laughs> make you watch the whole thing it'll be pretty boring so i will uh continue on when i've leveled up all right uh, i will catch you later thanks have a good one Okay, hello and welcome back. Uh, this is Jeff Hardy, multi game machine, uh, along with no one. I am playing Oblivion, and um, I don't know why I did an intro right there, because I'm going to add this on to the last one, because I was doing the sneak thing. I meant to get to 100, but it froze, and uh, this is the last one I had was 83. So I'm going to let it get up to 84 while I'm sitting here talking. And uh, after it gets to 84... There we go. I'm going to move on, because I am not going to sit here and wait for it. It's going to take a good, probably an hour or so, maybe even longer than that, in order to uh, get up to 100. So I think 83 and 80, 84 is good enough for now. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty good number. So I think we'll just continue on with what we're doing, um, which was what exactly? I don't remember. Let's see what let's see what question we're on. Um, no, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to come back after I'm done recording. I'm going to come back and, and get it up to 100. But I'm just going to wait. Okay. So Tarmina says that Magar Cameron hid a message within his writings. Only okay. That's right. I have to go back and talk to her again. I should study these books some more. No, I don't. I just need to study the books. And I remember how this goes. You take the first letter of each one of each paragraph in each book. G R E E N E. Uh, yeah, it's Green Emperor in this one, and then is that it? Green Emperor Way. Green Emperor. I think it's it's and then Way. Oops. Green Emperor Way. W H E R. Where? Green Emperor Way. Where? T O W Tower. T O U touches M A M I D D A Y midday sun. Okay, cool. So the whole thing is Green Emperor Way, where tower touches midday sun, and that is going to take place in the uh, uh, Imperial City here. So we have to go back. I don't remember which city, which area. I think I just go to the palace. I don't go in the palace or anything like that, but um, this is the Green Emperor Way. This this whole area right here. And uh, what time is it? Let's so hopefully. Oh, it's after midday, of course. So I think what we have to do is be right here, and this little map shows you where it is, but it has to be noon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait, and we're gonna wait for gosh, what is it? 21 hours? <laughs> All right, we can do that. That's fine. It's going to take, what, 21 seconds or so? I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. So we'll just let it go. And, and in no time, we'll have waited almost an entire day just so we can see the dang map. I know right where it is, but in order to get it to show up on our map, on our mini-map, we have to um, do this little thing. So, oh, look at that. It's red. Midday sun touches... You know, and all that. I have followed the clues hidden in the four volumes written by Mankar Cameron to a gravestone in a Green Emperor Way. At noon, the map of Cyrodiil appeared on the gravestone, which was already there. It's just glowing. With the location of Mythic Dong's shrine marked on it. I need to find my way into the shrine and locate the Amulet of Kings. So, if I do this and do this, it shows me where it is. It showed uh, Lake Arius Caverns, which is just north of Shaden Hall. And we'll have to travel there in order to... Um, make our quick jaunt up to the north. I am going to save right there. You too. And I'm well going to try met. to sell him some drugs. Have a look at my way. Hey buddy. I'm sure there's something to suit. I'm sure there's something I got that'll suit you. <gasps> Holy crap, he bought it. He just bought it. I appreciate. Yeah, I appreciate it too. Thanks, man. Good day. Thanks for buying my drugs. That's awesome. So that should get us back down to what it was. Good deal. Let's move on with our lives, shall we? All right, so we got to go up here. So let's go over here, and then we'll travel. We'll travel legit. Now, I only raised the... Uh, I only raised it in order to uh, 
make it quicker to catch up to where I was. So from now on, I'm just going to use it normally. Well, then again, I just I might I might raise it up just temporarily to loot and uh, skip those parts because it gets pretty boring. I don't I don't even like doing it. I couldn't. Hmm. No, I, I don't like doing it, let alone uh, watching somebody do it. Oh, gross. Okay, yeah, I just realized what I was saying. <laughs> uh, I don't even like doing it. I, why would I want to watch somebody do it? Gross. Yeah, way to be legit and uh, family-oriented in my gameplay here. Okay, so we're gonna go up to the caverns, now, and I'm gonna give it a little, a uh, little bit of a work around. Oh, what, uh, what's that? Is that somebody chasing me? Probably a wolf, if I had to guess. Probably a wolf chasing me. Yeah, all right, let's get a little uh, space on him here, or her, whatever, I can't tell. I haven't even seen it yet. Why are you yelling at me? All right, anyway, where are you at? Where is it? Where is it? Hello? Oh. Oh, it's a rat. Really? <laughs> I'm gonna get you eventually! Ha <laughs> ha! You glad you chased me now? <laughs> and a yummy, yummy rat meat. I actually kind of wish I brought that body with me now. Is there any uh, Nern Root around this lake? I wonder if there's any Nern Root around this lake. Oh, a beautiful waterfall. I don't know. I, 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 don't know. I don't know. Looks like there might be one. Nope. Those are both mushrooms. Oh. What? 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 Oh, somebody's casting something at me. Who? Who's there? Who that? Oh, hi! Whoa, hello! I totally just missed you. Sorry about that. Squeak! Don't squeak at me. There we go. Alright. Doesn't seem that affected by my lightning. In my in my bow. My lightning bow. No, it's alright. It's, it's affecting him a little bit. Come on. It's alright, man. Alright, whoa, flutter. He's all a flutter. Okay, you know what? Where are we at right here? Um, should I do it here? Ah, I don't know. Okay, so there's a there's a little part coming up to where they ask you to take off all your stuff and uh, keep all your weapons and junk like that. And I, I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do is, me and my electric blue hair, I'm going to take everything off before I agree to it, and that way I can go back and get it. And it's easier. If you leave everything on a body, because if you just drop it in the open, I have lost many rings that way before. And that's uh, that's not a good thing to do. I, I don't know who just shot at me but, and, and went away, like immediately went away, but apparently they uh, didn't want to chase me, which is fine. I don't want them chasing me. Just go away. All right, so anyway. So we go up to this cave here. I think it's this cave. Yep, Lake Area's Caverns. Now, it's easier to leave everything on a corpse somewhere. So if you kill something, you put it all on the co all the stuff on the dead body, and then go in and accept the thing, and then come back out and get all your stuff, and you can have your stuff for the for the. Uh... Oh, there it is. Oh hi. Can can you? Fo Whoa! I've never seen one of them cast fire. It's always cold. I thought it was always frost. Come here. All right, yeah. Use up all your magicka and then follow me, please. I'm gonna shoot you once so I can get your health down. Uh, twice. Okay, but I still need you to follow me though. So get all your magicka down and then follow me, please. Come here. You can do it. You can do it. Follow me, please. This way. This way. This way. It's probably close enough, but eh. Yeah, it's good. That's good right there. Die now. Thank you. Alright, so as long as you don't fall down in some missing place, I'm gonna leave all this stuff. Oh. I wonder if oh, I'll probably keep it anyway. Alright, so anyway, everything's gotta go. 
Everything's gotta go. Yes, yes. All my healing potions, sorcery, warmth. Warmth? Why do we even have that? Okay, it's fine. I wouldn't you really find out what you need on this one. A a keys I don't care about. I'll get those back after anyway. But a lot of that stuff I want I want to get back after, so. Eh, you know what? You never know. You never know. Alright, so all quest items. I am down to just quest items and underwear. And that's pretty much it right now. So we'll go in here. Put my fist down. Alright, the Mythic Dawn must be somewhere inside. Nope, I don't need my fists out. Hi! Dawn is... Uh, greet the new day. Welcome, brother. The hour is late, but the Master still has need for willing hands. Ew, I'm you not... may pass into the shrine. Harrow will take you to the Master for your initiation into the service of Lord Dagon. Great. Do not tarry. The time tarry. of preparation is almost over. How the do you time tarry? Of cleansing is near. I want to. I want to. Tarry. I don't know Terry. So don't be like Terry. Is that what you're saying? Don't don't be Terry. I am Harrow. I'm not Terry. By following the path of dawn, hidden in the writings of the Master Mancar Cameron, you have earned a place among the chosen. Oh, sweet! You have arrived chosen at an opportune one. time. You may have the honor to be initiated into the Order by the Master himself. Excellent. As a I'm member so of the Order of the Mythic Dawn, everything you need will be provided for you from the Master's bounty. Uh -oh. Give me your possessions and put on this initiate's robe. Okay. Very good. If you don't, follow he... me. I will take you to the you shrine. You can't get in. So. Kind of have to do it. Okay. So cool. No, I've... he doesn't mind if you leave. How can I? No, I'm uh, I'm good. Thanks, the dude. Time of cleansing is at hand. Praise be. Yep, praise be. Praise be to that cleansing. All right, so I'm gonna go get my stuff off this uh, thing. Take off. Okay, so I gotta re-equip everything, and he he has no idea that I'm doing it. It's kind of BS, but whatever. I don't care. Um, I don't need the robe, but I do need to equip this, no, this, and this. Oh, I got no uses left. That's why. Okay, well, that's fine. I could use Chow Run if I really wanted to, but I only could do one damage with it rather than nine with these. Okay, so, so now we go back in, and now we can do this in our armor instead of just with a robe, which is really, really hard to do.